Your Excellencies, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure to address you at this very important summit. The arts matter a great deal to Africa. The arts entertain and educate us. The arts make a profound contribution to our shared identity. The arts promote our culture to the world and hold a great potential for job creation and economic growth. I wish to congratulate the Atlantic Council for organizing the 2021 High-Level International Summit on the African Creative and Cultural Industries. As you rightly pointed out, Africa is experiencing an exceptional cultural revolution. From fashion to film and from media to the music, our continent is brimming with amazing innovation and inspiration. The African creative and cultural industries offer employment to nearly half a million people. Now that's a good start, but it's time to give the creative space a boost. At the African Development Bank, we are convinced that a creative sector that is vibrant and dynamic will generate employment for Africa's youth and attract foreign exchange inflows and stimulate other industries such as tourism. For several years now, the African Development Bank has been at the forefront of the continent's fashion and textile industries through our bold, innovative fashionomics initiative through which we promote increased access to finance and help burden entrepreneurs gain traction. Many of them are women, and they are great. Our online fashionomics platform links these young entrepreneurs to a global value chain of suppliers and buyers and connects them to service providers and mentors. The global fashion industry is expected to double in the next 10 years, generating up to $5 trillion annually. The combined apparel and footwear market in Sub-Saharan Africa alone is estimated to be worth $31 billion. Now, this presents enormous prospects at various levels of the value chain, from design to production to marketing. Through our Fashionomics Initiative, the African Development Bank has developed strong partnerships with leading industry players, including tech giants such as Facebook and Google. Another art segment to watch is the film industry. I love them. Nigeria's Nollywood has grown in a relatively short period of time to become the largest center of film production in the world after the United States and India. The industry accounted for $7.2 billion, and that's about 1.42% of Nigeria's GDP in recent years, and it employs 300,000 people directly and more than a million people indirectly. African filmmakers are making great strides, commercializing their work. They connect with global audiences and continue to open up production and distribution partnerships with entertainment giants like Netflix. And in March this year, Netflix released its first exclusively African screenshot called Queen Sono, a crime drama series. Global partnerships, production, and distribution platforms provide opportunities to positively shape Africa's narrative in ways that were not possible just a few years ago. The success of African artists and the content they produce has not gone unnoticed by American companies. The 2018 Hollywood blockbuster, Black Panther, which showcased African actors, music, and design, brought in more than $1.3 billion at the global box office and it's the highest grossing superhero film of all time. The United Nations declared 2021 the International Year of Creative Economy for Sustainable Development, recognizing that the arts remain one of the most resilient industries in the face of global economic challenges and has tremendous growth potential. In order to realize this potential, the arts need more private sector investment. According to the PARTEC Africa Annual Report, only 1% of venture capital and private equity investment is currently going to entertainment industry players. That's too small. It means there's a massive opportunity for American companies to tap into fast-moving markets that speak to the country's young urban and connected Africans 
including at least 1.6 million African immigrants in the United States. It's an opportunity not to be missed. The African creative and cultural industries can no longer be ignored. So let's together accelerate the pace for these African success stories. I am excited with today's young and dynamic, bold, innovative, extremely hardworking men and women, entrepreneurs in the creative arts and media space. They play a significant and much needed role in showcasing Africa's resurgence to the world. Africa's culture has gone global. Africa's music has gone global. Africa's movies have gone global. From Hollywood to Wall Street, investors should be paying attention. The whole of the world should pay attention. Hello, it is Africa's time.